Today, I'd like to take a look at some of the more organic looking neural cellular automata that I've found in neural patterns, and I've been very excited to show them off for a while now. If you don't know what neural cellular automata are, I suggest you watch my previous video where I explain them much more in depth. However, as a quick refresher, neural cellular automata, or NCAs for short, are a class of algorithms in which each pixel follows a set of rules based on its neighboring pixels and decides what color it should be in the next frame. These rules are applied over and over every frame and can generate patterns like the one you're seeing now. I have found all sorts of weird patterns that seem to imitate living systems, and I'd like to start exploring these with one of the most fundamental processes of life, mitosis. Now, I'm not a biologist, but as far as I understand, mitosis refers to the division and replication of cells, and these little blob things seem to be doing exactly that. They're splitting and replicating, making copies of themselves. As you can see, they're not particularly good at it. They seem to be struggling to replicate and then survive. They almost always die just after they replicate. But despite this, their numbers still seem to be growing, and growing at a greater and greater rate. These blobs are replicators, and watching them has helped me appreciate how populations of replicators grow. If population growth follows an exponential curve, then even a very bad replicator, so long as it is able to produce, on average, slightly more than one of itself before it dies, can create a population that will not only grow, but will explode off to infinity, at least until it runs out of resources. It's no wonder, then, why replication is such a hallmark of living systems. I suppose that's kind of obvious, but it just kind of struck me while watching these blobs. I hope fans of the Life Engine can see some parallels here, as I certainly do. Of course, this begs the question, is there any natural selection happening here? The answer is no, not really. There's no genetic difference between these blobs, and thus no selective advantages. They all replicate at the same rate, and so none are selected for or against. Mitosis is actually a pretty common pattern to see, and to show that, I have another mitosis pattern here. This one is a bit different, not just because I've changed the color scheme so the background is light and the foreground is dark, but also because of the way the blobs replicate. They seem to stick to the grid more and form longer chains of cells that sort of look like bacteria. This is a picture of the bacteria that causes strep for reference, and you can see the similarities. They're similar enough that it kind of grosses me out to look at it. It kind of looks like a real bacteria colony, and seems unsanitary. You can actually get a pattern with both worms and bacteria sharing space. Mitosis patterns are usually closely related to worm patterns, and you can usually get either worms or bacteria by tweaking the parameters ever so slightly. In some cases, you can get both in the same pattern, like this one. Typically, I find these organic patterns fairly close to one another, where I find one interesting one, tweak the parameters a bit, and find another, and another, and another. With this in mind, I tuned this one a bit more, and was able to come up with a worm-like pattern that was a bit different from all the previous ones that I had seen before. These worms seem to grow outwards in long heads, almost as if they were searching for something. Other worms bud off of these existing heads and grow out in the same fashion, until eventually the pattern fills the entire screen. I really like this pattern. It's especially organic to me. It looks very lifelike. In fact, I don't know about you, but to me this pattern almost looks like some sort of slime mold expanding out over the entire screen. 
From here, another world of simulated slime molds was opened up. And finally, for the last NCA, I have a different kind of slime mold, which has a very different set of rules than those shown before. It is my favorite NCA that I have ever found in Neural Patterns, and I hope that you can see why. Let's reset here and take a closer look as to what's actually going on. Once again, these heads grow out as if they're seeking something, sometimes interacting with other heads or these little seed things that populate the screen, which in turn grow into their own heads and start to fill out space. They start to build out these road-like structures, which to me look sort of like suburban roadways with cul-de-sacs and rows of housing. Over time, the heads find and fill out empty spaces on the screen, and there's even something that looks sort of like competition happening here, where different shades will push each other back and forth as if they're vying for space. This pattern really opened my eyes as to how living organisms can take advantage of simple, emergent systems like this, and they can use them to search and spread, grow and compete. I'm very curious what kinds of artificial life might emerge if you were to run a natural selection simulation based on the underlying rules of NCAs, and I may pursue projects like that in the future. For now, I'm content to manually search for cool patterns, and I hope you will join me. This slime mold and one of the mitosis patterns have been uploaded to the Neural Patterns website, and the rest have been added to the new public Discord server which is for both Neural Patterns and the Life Engine. You can now get the save files there, and the invite link should be in the description and the comments. You can share your own files there if you find other cool patterns. I'm extremely grateful for all the support that y'all have given me, and I have a lot of ideas for the future. Until next time. <laughs>